Hello and welcome to Cracking the Cryptic. Quite a special one today, I think. We're looking at today's Elgar Tuffy in the Telegraph. This is the kind of second crossword the Telegraph provides because the first one, the, the main cryptic crossword, is reasonably straightforward. This one often has a bit more to it. And boy, does this one have a bit more to it. So I'm starting to play my solve of today's puzzle. Um, it's not an easy puzzle. Now we start with five across. The first clue sleeps off very good brewery wares, not one English. And the brewery, brewery wares are beers there. So take out one English and you've got burrs. And then I eventually worked out that um, very good could be so. Um, so you get sobers as in sobers up. Um, and we'll just park that entry for a while, so this can obviously mean something else. Six down sounds like a bargee, someone who deals with a barge. So canal man noisily, deep fried appetite skips you bargee. Seven down, security of TRF smoke screens, no. That's a bit strange. Um, TRF sounds like row six, but nobody, it's not clear what's going on there. Nine across, about to infiltrate working party, even now. Um, oh, I've obviously worked, I worked out that um, seven across. Um, security of tire is how you have to read it. And then F smoke screens, no. And that's um, weak screening F and then not. So we've got a few done now. Nine across was squared, re in squad, five down, an anagram of queen, and then C for church. And eleven across was stars, um, and it's waste risks without the first letter. Uh, just making sure I'm not missing any clues there now. Fourteen across, over goes number two, not quite an exact copy. And here we're seeing these clues with um, three dots at the beginnings and ends and something's going on there. It's not an easy clue, and certainly not getting the answer straight away, nor to four down. And now, we're just getting a bit of an idea that something's going on with these across clues. Loads of them are paired. Anything that's paired has got the three dots. Um, and something is happening with them. So, 10 across, they start with things that begin rankling Glamorgan's outfielders. 12 is first sign. And then the next dots appear in 14 and the next three clues. And it, there's, there's certainly some sort of cricket theme going on there. Anyway, 15 down, I've done um, a strip off, something you might tear. And it's... Um, the trip is the excursion on holiday. So, uh, a strip off is quite an odd entry. You're beginning to get the impression that there might be quite a lot going on the grid if the compiler is forced to make this sort of entry. Um, but just returning to those cross clues, because I, I struggled with some of the solving here. And certainly, if you want to see how this all plays out, you might want to jump ahead to the last six or seven minutes of the video. Now, 30 across, president's kinky life as dame, respectively. Retrospectively, that's an anagram of life in drag backwards. That's pretty vicious, as dame. Um, and President Garfield, um, here we're getting Garfield the president rather than Garfield the cat. Um, which so, so this puzzle does go quite deep into general knowledge, and it's going to get a bit worse than that. 22 is part of 26 across, which is a very long clue. Player having dispersed disheartened keeper and infield belted Nash out of the ground. Now, if you know much about cricket, this is really ringing bells with you. And in fact, all of these dot, dot, dot clues seem to refer to cricket. So things that begin rankling Glamorgan's outfield as 12 is first sign. Over goes number two, not quite an exact copy. Show in shot three, spin is taken on. Um, sorry, I can't quite read the next one on my screen. The fourth to be deposited over front of square is returned by scorers. Gift for one back, pedaling again, see ball ultimately transported over boundary's edge. And player 
having dispersed, disheartened keeper and infield, belted Nash out of the ground. Now, if you do know your cricket, you know that's all about Gary Sober's um, feat of hitting six sixes. Um, and here we are with, and we've already found Garfield and Sobers in the grip. So that seems to be the theme or a significant, well, it must be the theme, surely. But in fact, there's a lot more going on. So 10 across, just clue solving again. Things that begin rankling Glamorgan's outfielders there, they seem to be the letters RGO. But what does 12 is first and sign mean? I was wondering if Argon was element number 12 to fit in that, but it doesn't quite work. 19 across as well, it seems an, a very odd entry with something ES. Um, and combined with 12 down, well, I was aware that there's a I've only met them through crosswords, but there's a group of French composers known as Les Six, the Six. Um, and I did wonder whether that could possibly be the answer. So I'm looking at 13 across thinking that has to end in I. And yet the clue is 7-1, no good slipping up wanting to do in King. Now there aren't many phrases that end in I. Bag's I is the only one I can think of. So that made me think that that might not be the way to get on with that. So back down to 23 across, very neatly, anagram solver with a line in work in workwear. Well, that tells you very specifically, not it's not about an anagram solver. It tells you to anagram the word solver with a line to get you overalls. Um, and that helped me get 25 down finally. Drink shot with charges. Brilliantly phrased clue. Again, just an ordinary clue in this puzzle, but... Shot is shy, and with charges it, that's the word and. Once and charges shot, you get shandy. Fabulously worded clue. 28 across, native of Asia, made father of the cryptic crossword. <laughs> Beautiful, because uh, panda is a native of Asia. And a father, in cryptic crossword terms, is the letter P and the letter A, making par. So the, the reference to cryptic crossword is because you kind of have to put the wordplay together backwards there. Right? You write P and A. So brilliantly worded clue again. Um, now this long 26 across still haven't really approached any of the theme answers. 26 across, player having dispersed disheartened keeper and infield. Well, that looks like an anagram of KR for disheartened keeper and the word infield. And then belted Nash out of the ground. And uh, again, you're looking for possible bits of that. I think you don't know whether and goes in the anagram or belted. Um, but in fact, what's going on, I think, here is it's an anagram of KR, infield, belted Nash. But you have to take out the... T-H-E, ground, ground up, like just the letters of it. And then you get a 9-7 um, answer defined as player, but thematic. Now 29 across, I had all sorts of trouble with that. Inability to recognise one air when back within range. Well, I was convinced that one is A or I. Air is probably sun, S-O-N. And range is probably aim. If you range at something, you aim at it. Now, there's quite a lot of words, beginning with A and ending with A, for inabilities to do things, to do fairly normal things. And I was thinking anosmia is a word, and it is. And it's got A and aim and sun backwards. So I rather fancy that was the answer. But I did have a vague thinking that Anosmia was an inability to smell, but maybe if you couldn't re recognise something by smell, that would be right. So I, I filled it in with a certain amount of confidence. Now after this, I've gone with Les Six at 19 across. I've decided that that is what the answer is there. And at 14 across, with the CA and the O, um, and it ends in an exact copy. I went with carbon. That is, the wordplay there is no and brace backwards. 
Um, and now I finish field in six at 12 down. That's what the 12 in 10 across is meaning. So you've got those RGO letters we mentioned. You put VI on the front and you get Virgo. And that's a sign. So that's worked quite nicely. Now one down, two definitions of done are up and over. And that gives you the garage door. Like your shoelace is maybe done and a task may be done, so um, that's over. Two down, well not shoelaces, what, what was I thinking of for up? Um, there must be some. <coughs> Time is up, it's done. Right, two down. Clown about, well there is an old European clown called Bip, I think, so when he's about it's Pip, and then Lifting hearts with French horn. Um, that's core, I think, isn't it? No, no, H for hearts and core for French horn. So they get lifted to make a peaprock bagpipe piece. And now I've been able to do go to waste and anagram at three down. Beautifully phrased clue again. Two goes at curling. Don't get used. Brilliant. And 13 across, now the I has finished by turning into a 1, it's Richard I, um, and that's very clever. Now, 17-8, one of these theme ones, um, show in shot 3 spin is taken on, well again it's a, mostly an anagram here, and we get The Prisoner, a show I don't remember, well I've certainly never seen it, um, it comes up occasionally in puzzles and I don't know all that much about it apart from the fact that it was filmed in Port Marion. Four down, the remote here is a keypad with the sound of keep add, which is pretty hard. Um, and the puzzle's beginning to fill in. Now, you may be noticing some connection that I really wasn't at this point. Obviously, six at 12 down is a bit connected with the Gary Sobers thing, but we now have Virgo and Carbon and Lacey's as answers to the first three of these um, dot 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 clues which I'm just beginning to connect. 18 down, what Goliath should know about David's grief? Um, well obviously we all know a little bit about David and Goliath but the key thing that, that you should know well there are one or two things. Now what Goliath should know about David you might be quite tempted to put hill fire in the <laughs> 18 down that hill fire stone. And that would give you hell fire, which might be considered to be a definition of grief, but not easy and not, not clear. Um, and in fact, I'm glad I didn't really put that in because it's not the answer. 21 down, individual birthday tips. I was, was thinking about date of birth. The kind of tips of that phrase would be D-O-B, but is that individual? I couldn't really see that at the moment. Um, 16 down here, disease caused by deficiency in an area around neck wound. I was trying to remember all the diseases caused by vitamin deficiencies. Um, anyway, I, I couldn't remember the right one. Berry Berry wouldn't fit. Now, of course, I'm going to have to solve a few more clues and change anosmia to the correct answer at this point. But what I'm going to do now is explain how the theme works, because this is just fascinating. Um, these six clues with the dot, dot, dots in, they all represent something that is number six, or that it, there are six of. So 10 across Virgo is sign of the zodiac, the number six sign of the zodiac. They begin from Aries. Number 14, carbon, element number six in the periodic table. So that's two sixes, themed answers. Number three is the prisoner. Now he was known as number six in the prison. Um, I'm not sure if I'd have remembered that without the puzzle. So uh, that's reasonably important. And that's the third one. The next one um, is Les Cis. Obviously they were six. So now we've had four sixes. And actually, if you start reading these clues, they refer specifically to one six after the other. Now, 20 across, I was really struggling with five, one hyphen six. Give for one backpedaling, again, sea ball ultimately transported over boundary's edge. 
Um, it takes me a long time, and I mean, I'll, I'll spoil that for myself now. That's geese are laying because it connects with the six, and it's a gift from the Christmas song. Um, anagram of again C and the last line, the last letter of ball. Y is boundaries edge. I mean, it's just brilliantly worded, especially when you compare it with the fifth six that Sobers hit, which was tipped over the boundary by the fielder. Um, and then finally, this player having dispersed a sergeant keeper and infield. Now that's become blindside flanker. Who wears number six in rugby? What a fantastic. So every one of those items is a six, and there are six of them, all fitted into this grid, all given clues that seem to refer, therefore, to the theme, which is Gary Sober's six sixes, which he hit 50 years ago tomorrow uh, for Nottinghamshire against Glamorgan. And we'll watch the uh, video of that now as well, as I finally finish the puzzle. Um, but you really have to take your hats off to this construction. The idea that you could fit six separate sixes into the grid, that you could clue them in a way that absolutely represents the six sixes Gary Sobers hit, that you could also add in Garfield and Sobers, um, that you could actually have all of those six clues starting in thematic across entries and most of them, I mean, all linked with these dot, dot, dots. It really is an astonishing feat of compiling. Now, I mean, full disclosure, I know John Henderson, who's Elgar. Um, he's a friend. I haven't seen him for a couple of years, but he's a friend of mine and you know, it may be wrong to, to go overboard in praising a friend, but this is an amazing construction for a blocked cryptic puzzle on a regular looking grid with good checking. How could you conceive that you could do that, let alone then go ahead and, and achieve it? I don't know. And just to finish off those answers I was struggling with, um, I think it's Pellagra at 16 down, which is the disease caused by deficiency. I um, can't remember how that works now. In an area around neck wound, not wound. I don't know, but I mean, you can work it out for yourself, that's fine. The, the inability to recognize is um, agnosia. The range is an aim, it's argot. And Agnosia isn't a term I necessarily know. 27 down, the woman on a winding road out of London was Naomi, which is um, on A anagrammed, and then M1 for road out of London, which is very neat. Um, I mean, what a puzzle. It's just astonishing to me that this could be achieved. Um, I hope if you've had a go at the puzzle yourself, you've appreciated it all. I think it's quite easy to solve the puzzle and see that six seems to be the theme. But to understand that the theme is actually the six sixes hit by Gary Sobers, I think it's been done a couple more times in cricket by Ravi Shastri and then somebody else in a 2020. I think somebody's even once managed to achieve more than 36 in an over thanks to a no ball. Oh yes, the date of birth has to tip to become bored at uh, 21. I should have spotted that before. So an individual is a bored. Uh, there's me trying the wrong answer again at 29. I've turned aim round around sun and come up with an imaginary minosia. So that's not very helpful. Let's try and work out why 16 down is Pellegra, because I can't remember at the moment. Um, what would it be backwards? Oh, gal, ep. Oh, so it's a rep around Gaul backwards, I think. It's not, not impossible, I've got that wrong. I think John was uh, kind enough to point out last time I sold one of his tuppies online that uh, I had an answer wrong, but I think Pellagra is the answer and Agnosia. And uh, there it goes, it's going in, and I probably can see geese are laying shortly after this, although <laughs> it's not the most natural phrase. I think if any compromise has been achieved with the grid, it's putting in geese are laying. 
um, in a 6-6 six, six space. That, that you wouldn't get away with that normally. But for this theme, you'd forgive a lot more than that. Fantastic puzzle. Thank you very much, John, and for alerting us to it. I hope you've enjoyed that solve. I hope at least you've appreciated what's been achieved by the compiler there, because that's a special one. Um, I hope to see you again on Cracking Cryptic. Bye for now.